Hello students, this is Ms. Rosen. I am going to show you some new tools in Photoshop today. I'm going to use this old photo of my neighbor Tito. Very nice man. He's much older than this now, obviously, old photo. But his um, mom, we call her Nana Edna, she's still around. They live together in the house down the street. And um, we're going to fix this up as a little gift for Nana Edna. All right, so. Uh, first thing we're going to do over here is I'm going to show you some of these new tools. The first one we're going to start with is called Spot Healing Brush Tool. We're just going to call it Spot Healing. Notice it's a band-aid with little dots. Look at that. Spot Oh, I thought we have a demo. What do you know? And as always, I can use the brackets to the right of the P to make it bigger and smaller. Bigger and smaller. I want it to be pretty small. Let's just say I want to get rid of this spot right here. I want it to be about the size of the spot, maybe a touch bigger, and I go Shazam! That it's all gone. All gone. Oh, look at that little blemish. Little blemish Tito has. Bam! All gone. Shazam! Oh, Tito. He had some, he had a hot dog right before this picture. We got to get rid of that. So we got to go a little bigger. There we go. And Shazam! And that's how the spot healing tool. Works. Isn't that fabulous? Ready? Oh, this one. This one. No. Shazam! Oh, it didn't work. Click. Shazam! 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 Isn't that fabulous? All gone. So if you have blemishes or zits or things, shazam them away. There you go. Blob, shazam, all gone. So again, this is the spot healing tool. It looks like this. And um, what it does is it pulls pixels from around it and blends those things in so that um, it takes those things away. Isn't that fabulous? So that was tool number one. Tool number two I'm going to show you is underneath there. So I right click on that. Now we're going to the healing tool brush, and that very similarly. But this time, when I do this, oh, look what comes up. Oh, I have to Alt-click. This is one where we have to source. So I press the Alt button on my computer, and look at that little crosshairs are like a little bullseye. It's like, that one, I want that one. So I click there, I press Alt, and I click. All right, that's what I want. I want the smooth part. Never mind. Press Alt, click. And then I'm going to get rid of that crack right there because you see where that little plus is? Now the plus is going to get rid of it. Now the plus went off the screen, so that doesn't help me. I have this nice smooth part to draw some, draw from, so I'm going to source from the nice smooth part. Alt, click, and then I can go over here. And I want to keep the cross. I'm basically taking pixels from the cross to the circle, and I'm blending them in together. But I don't want to like take things from over here and then come up here because they won't match and then it's hard to see what I'm doing. Oh, jeez. Hard to see what I'm doing because it's far away. So I like it like this, nice and close. And then, too, I can say, well, it's a little lighter here, so I'm going to source, alt, click from there. And then I just click here. Ooh, that's a little close that time, but that's okay. So I'll come a little closer. Now I can do that all the way and get rid of all this stuff. However, look what happens when I come close to his head. So I'm going to go alt. Here's a good one. And I'm going to like clean it up. Oh, oh, he's like getting a halo. He's glowing. Don't like it. So I'm going to do control Z on a Dell or command Z on a Mac. And I'm going to get rid of that. That's no good. I don't want that. I want to keep his hair where it's at. So healing tool, fabulous for smooth areas. Don't forget to source by hitting alt. Now I'm going to move towards something else for the hair. I'm going to go to the patch tool. It looks like a little patch. Whenever your mom sews your, sews your jeans, you make a hole. I don't know, maybe no one's mom does it anymore. And I want to make sure with, that it's on destination, because then it's going to work like the other tools we're going to look at today. And I want to get this texture. I like the patch tool for texture. I make a little circle, and I'm going to move it over. And look, I put it in there. Then I'm going to go Command or Control D, which will deselect. And look, his hair is like staying that nice texture. I got it. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to select some nice. That one. Let's deselect that. I don't want that little break right there. Let's get it again. And then I'm going to move it over. And let's deselect. Oh, look at that. See, that's how that's how cool hair is supposed to look when you're Tito. And you're. Oh, how's that look? Not the best. I might undo. Undo Control Z takes that piece out. Actually, that was going to undeselect that. I can do Control Alt Z, and it goes back a couple steps. Maybe now I'm going to go here. Let's take this spot and move that over. See if I like how that looks better. And it is going to kind of blend. Control V to select. Oh, see, that's working better. The the different textures together around the edges. So I can keep going with this hair here. And I take, take my circle, move it over, get rid of that line, check it out. 
Yeah, sure. Mirror that dark spot right there so it blends in a little better. Deselect. Oh, see, that's better. It's getting that hairdo. I could keep going with that, but I want to show you the next tool. So that was patch. Great for textures. Needs to be sourced. I'm on destination mode to do that. Got it? Got it? Good, good, good. Now, something new, the clone tool. I'm going to right click on the clone tool so I see where it says clone stamp tool. Go away. I'm doing the tutorial, not you. And now, see how this is messed up his eyeball? It don't look so good. So I'm actually going to zoom in. Plus, plus, plus. I'm doing control plus on my Dell, command plus on a Mac. And look at that. It's the right size for his eyeball. But I need to source it just like before. So I hit my alt. It's sourcing the eyeball. Alt click. The eyeball goes there. Click. <gasps> he has two normal looking eyeballs. Isn't that fabulous? So I could source right here too. Click and get rid of that. Move his eyebrow over a bit. He's got a little bit of spots. Maybe I'll just kind of put something there too. Make it more even. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now I do have a crease on here. So notice I'm sourcing details. That needs a little work. It'll be over here. Alt click. Oh, this is better. This can be better. No. Let's make it smaller. Let's cook a little bit here. Alt click. Blend that in. Oh, see, that's better. Now it looks like he's got a crease in his eye. Mama Edna, she'd be happy. We want to make this look fabulous for Mama Edna. She should be like, oh, there's my boy when she sees it. But remember, we had the edge issues. So that's what we're going to use the clone tool for again, too. So I can go and I can source, let's go a little bigger, right along this edge, alt, click, and I can move down, oh, that's too far up, let's undo that. Let's get, let's get a nice, not too curved edge. I can do alt, click, and move that, oh, there we go. So I can clean up that edge, and kind of put this stuff in here. I'm going to do some texturizing here. I'm going to go back up here and do my patch tool. There we go. And bring this down so I can see what I'm doing there. There we go. So I would kind of fix up his hair, but anytime I want to do an edge, let's go back to clone. I could do that edge and make it nice and even right there too. So I can not get that fuzzy look I had before. But I can do Alt, select that edge, and then I can kind of put those things in there so I get the nice clean edge. Let's go and I can fix up this hair, I can get this edge, let's see, maybe a spot tool here. But what I'd like you to do now is it's going to be your, oh, this is nice. Right, it's going to be your job to fix up Tito. Whatever you gotta do so that Mama Edna would be proud. We wanna make her cry when she sees her baby looking like he was back in the day. So using your spot healing, your healing, the patch all underneath here. And they all work together because they all pull other pixels in around it to make it work. When you don't want it to pull pixels and make things fuzzy, then you want to clone. Okay? All of them have to be sourced except for the spot. And there you go. Oh, 